Kevin with Anita Woody. I'm your fashionable cooking host. Before we get started, actually, I need to speak about one of our advertisers. Uh, the Giant Size Team Up Network has asked me to introduce their latest and festivist cooking book for this upcoming holiday season. So uh, just to give you an idea of some kind of recipes that are in it, uh, first up is the Breaking the Panel. It is a cauliflower white rice milk chicken, white meat only of course, egg white casserole, the whitest thing you've ever eaten, Pokemon Go podcast, a non-alcoholic eggnog surprise from the Mormon. But this one is a little Pokemon flavored, so when you drink it, you have a couple of different options that might happen to you. It's completely random, apparently. Uh, either you're going to shit fire, uh, you're going to have the runs, or you're going to start growing hair in places that you didn't know you had. Uh, next up from Botched is the Alcoholics Eggnog. Basically, this is a bottle of absinthe with enough white food coloring to make it look like eggnog. Perfect for a holiday family get-together or your local Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. Blazing Defenders Batman Holiday Log. Shaped just like Batman's penis because Travis Jones is obsessed with his manhood for some reason. Not, not quite sure. Uh, from Geek Versus, we have the Inception Pie. It's a pie within a pie within a pie within a pie. Uh, apple within a blueberry within a cherry within a pumpkin. Strange, but I'm sure it's delicious. From FTH Beyond, the Peas, Lentils, Asparagus, Nutella Bars, otherwise known as Plan B. Kurt always recommends Plan B after hanging out with him. And lastly, Toy Power. The braised kangaroo legs with koala stuffing and a bloomin' onion flavored dingo hot stuffed with expired chocolates! Amazing! If you would love this cookbook, head on over to www.giantsizeteamup.com and order yours today! Now back to the show! In the Appalachian wilds, a group of drunken misfits join forces to play Dungeons and Dragons. Inspired by boredom, equipped with loose morals and a questionable understanding of the rules, our heroes venture forth to explore strange new lands. So gather up your dice, your manuals, and your livers. And join us on a quest to make absolute fools of ourselves. This is Botched, a D&D podcast. Previously on Botched, many bad things happened. My orcish friend is dead, and I don't, I don't see a positive future. Oh, I was a door, also. Yeah. All right, welcome back, listeners, to the 53rd episode of our third season. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, we are going to start where we left off last time as the remaining group is currently fighting a Mind Flayer. Mm. The last Mind Flayer. The other one's dead. This it's one's the last injured. of its kind. The last of the Mind Flayer. The last Mind Flayer. <laughs> it's very different. <laughs> it's like the last Starfighter, but... <laughs> or the last Unicorn. More tentacles. Yeah, I was thinking more last Unicorn. Or the last of the Mohegans. The last of the mm-hmm. Mind Flayer. The last Samurai. last of the oh. Dog People. <laughs> yes. The last Mimsy. <laughs> the last <laughs> of us. <laughs> it was the last. Unless you're talking about Mimsy from <laughs> South Park. Park. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it wasn't there. Shut up, Mimsy. <laughs> the last Mimsy. <laughs> Shut up, Mimsy. There he is. Oh yeah, brother. I'm gonna send you back to whatever hell you're from with power friendship. <laughs> and I cast banishment. I'm gonna suck your face. I didn't know you could speak. <laughs> <laughs> I can now that I ate your friend's brain. <laughs> oh, no. No, I cast that before you ate his. Oh, wait. Nope, right. nope. he's dead. It's true. Okay. Uh, so he rolls a 20, which I assume is going to pass. He's a very charismatic yeah. elephant. Well, he rolled a straight 18 and then it's added really two. Sexy. So I mean, he's got sensual tentacles. Well, when you got tentacles like that, it's hard not to be sexy. Exactly. Right? He's wearing tentacle it. lingerie, too. So you really try and banish the nines. So you try and banish him, but he j- he doesn't go anywhere. It just mm. goes blue. It's not wearing robes. It's wearing a teddy. Mm. <laughs> well, Sachi's gonna cast detect yeah. magic. Yeah, do you oh. player. You think yeah. he's magical? Turn order, I guess. Uh, since the bub's dead, would be uh, Sachi first. Uh, refresh my memory. Did we hit this thing at all? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's injured. He looks like really injured. Uh, 
he's about seventy five percent injured. Hmm, that's a amount of that's well, a sorry, injury. Twenty five percent. No, that's not a amount of injury. Shit. Uh, so he's having a rough time. I guess uh, Sachi's just gonna swing away because everyone's pretty healed, right? Fifty percent. Yeah, you're fine. There's no way you can do half of our health in one hit. No, Didn't he just you. melt Zabub? Because no, no, it's because of mind flare. It's an instant. You, yeah. they can do an instant kill. It sucked out his brain. And it's how, the thing that made Logan make everything well. skeletons. All right, how's fourteen? <laughs> Does not hit. All right, turn over. <laughs> <laughs> great, that's great. Uh, no boo. Uh, I guess um, I'll, I'll attack it. Okay. Uh, twenty hits. something. Hits. Yeah. Okay. So min damage. So seven plus two bleed. Nine damage. And uh, fifteen. Yes. Okay. Not min damage. So ten plus two bleed. Uh, then it would be Thurstone. Where's Where's the corpse? Right of mm, old Zabubbers. It's right next to the mind flare. He just murdered him. And I'm right next to the mind flare. You're all right around it, if I remember correctly. Okay. How's that corpse look? Fresh. It's got a big hole in the middle of his head. Oh. Or it's wait, brain. not his mouth. Wait, isn't Zabub a zombie? Did no, you? no, no, I was unable to oh, cast you were not? it. Oh, it okay. yeah, the, the casting time is an hour. After uh, this. Oh, okay. I'll have a zombie. So he's got a door to his mind. <laughs> you sat on that. The duck door is getting s- friendly. He's going to say something, but... No, nah. it's my butt cape. <clears throat> Don't be foul. All right, here I go. Ah, uh, I get your I'm fucking punny atta- joke. You're so punny. I like I like duck jokes. All right, yeah. two I'm silver go- with mallard. You fuck. <laughs> <laughs> two mallards and a goose. Here I go. I'm attacking. How's a fourteen? No. Attacking again. That one hits for mid damage. Okay. Good job. Uh, so it takes six. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it'll be its turn. It's going... Oh, no. 14. I didn't add my proficiency bonus. Jesus Christ. So it would have been 17. That hits. And then I do 10 damage. Okay. Sorry. Total or 10 more? How many times have you played this game? At least twice. Only once. Only Tonight. once? Okay. When I leave the studio... You forget. I just... I just erase everything that happens. Oh, okay. And this is technically still the same game, so he's only really played one game of D&D, right? That's true. Okay. And is in the same room. But I just completely black out, and I look, I can drive home. So this Often, show... we know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we need patrons yeah. to pay for our, our DUIs. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say Uber. Uh, it's an expensive Uber from here, ship. You gotta I tell need... Thurston, Nobu, and Sachi to do an intelligence save. No. Um, yes, I would Holy say Holy fuck, no. I did it. Huh, 18. Yep. Wow. That's, that's... What'd you say? You did not. Okay. What's Thurston. my DC? That you're rolling against? Yeah. 15. With the loss of my friend, I am feeling wiser and smarter. Your hey. magic does not work on Nobu. I got a 14. Okay. All right, so uh, Thurstone and Sachi, you take 26 damage and you're stunned. Uh, Nobu, you take 13 damage and you are not stunned. Oh, it sounds like a hemi in my brain. That is what it's... Yeah, a hemi hemorrhage. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, a hemi. And then he's going to try and attack Thurstone, who's already stunned. Does that do anything? So what happens when two players die? So we're gonna be two ethereals. We might not. I have to like grapple you and then kill you on the next. But turn. he's done, so he succeed grapple. Yeah, automatically. Yeah. So it's on the next his next mm-hmm. turn. So if Nobu doesn't kill him by his next turn, then I could also die. do a grapple check against him and pull him off. Like headlock Good. his illithid yeah. face so he can't <laughs> your brain out. Just wrap the hands of the tentacles. So and, yeah, you like it, don't you? It. And his head turns towards you. I don't like it, do I? <laughs> Sachi, you take 14, or sorry, Thurstone, you take 14 damage as he wraps his tentacle thing around your face. I'm still up. Okay. Technically. Right, you are grappled, just FYI. Uh, then it would be mm-hmm. Sachi. Okay. I guess I'm stunned. You're stunned, but you can roll to get out of it. <clears throat> it's an intelligent save. How's a four? Nope. <laughs> you are stunned. Okay. Uh, then it would be oh. Nobu. All right. Attack, attack. Okay. 
Uh, that would be an excessive first roll okay. of an 11. And then we're going to move up to another 16. So okay. that'll hit. So right? 16 yeah. will hit. Okay. So I'm going to do... All right. 12 damage. I was really hoping you'd roll min again. <laughs> and then he just bar- he had seven hit points. Uh, so I was like, come on. Let's let it get back to his turn. I deal six damage. <laughs> so I'm just going to I'm gonna come up. My first hit is just going to, like, I think I'm hitting him in the face. But it's really just I'm moving through his tentacles. Well, his head is, so his mouth tentacles are wrapped around the face of Thurstone. Like a real deep French kiss. All right, so role play wise, I'm going to grab the Illithid's head. Okay. Pull it back and okay. try and punch it in the face. Okay. And miss by just going through tentacles. Okay. Like, well, that was weird. And then put, move it back. <laughs> and then just punch it in the spine. Okay. Yeah. So when you hit it in the spine, you hear a number of snap, crackly, pop noises. Ooh. And like it almost ripples. So... His body does this weird contorting thing where it's like a wave, but when it gets to like the back of his head, his head just snaps back violently, and he sort of just crumples in on himself, and he's in half. All right, I throw him to the side, Ugh. and I pick up Thurstone, and his face is just covered. Yell just at him head. until he wakes up. Uh, Intimidation of you're fifteen. Not out. I was stunned. Yeah, you were just stunned. He wasn't asleep. No, but asleep. I know. I'm he's unstunning shaking. him. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I, up. I'm, I'm, I'm awake, but, but you broke my goddamn nose. That's a nose? Oh, you you call that a nose? I, I do appreciate you saving my life, but I didn't I didn't ask for this kind of abuse. So I'm going to throw Thurston to the side and, <laughs> get, and uh, get Satchy back out of it. Get up! Wake up! Get out of it! Or the Wake eight, uh, it's not very intimidating. Oh, fair, monsieur. Oh. <coughs> yeah, um, brother, we gotta get some bub's brain. What? Out oh. of the stomach? What? Oh, that's right. So there's a door. What? In his head. So no, there's. You don't seem to see a door anywhere in the room. No, oh, no. Oh, there's a door I'm in his head. I'm saying in Zabub's yeah. head, there's a door, right? Yeah, and it's been uh, recently vacated, so it is a. Uh, so Non-furnished apartment. Okay. I'm going to heal. Loot the room. People. Loot. I strip Zabub. Take all his shit. <clears throat> loot the box. Now, I, I'm, this may be a little. I'm going to loot the, the mind flares. Okay. What do they got? Robes? Uh-huh. I don't they want them. also have... Wait, uh, someone turn those robes into rope. Continue. <clears throat> yeah. I'll start breaking them down, turn them into ropes. Done. They also... Survival of a one. I shred them into pieces. <laughs> Son of a bitch. They each also have a... What appears to be a silver dagger. What do you mean, what appears to be a it silver? It looks like a silver dagger. Touch it. You won't. Detect magic on this. Well, obviously it's going to be magical. I cast detect magic. Yeah, you detect magic. I now cast identify. What does identify do? Tells you what magic It identifies. Does. I know, but like... Is there a level on it, or you just automatically know one. what? You choose an object, mm-hmm. touch it. If it is magic or imbued with the object, I learn its properties and how to use them. Okay. It is a interdimensional key, mm-hmm. which you can cut a hole in space-time and go to the Illithid plane. And there's two of these. And there are two of I them. I pick up the other one. Okay. And then I'm going to cut their beaks out of their faces. Okay. All right. We can wear them as like masks. I'm gonna, are you using yeah. the silver dagger? No. Okay. No, I'm using <laughs> a regular dagger. Okay. A new regular dagger with a survival of nine on the first one. You get half the beat. You kind of fuck up the other half. Yeah. Can I, I'm gonna like fashion like a tentacle beard with the illithid if we're going to the plane. But do we have to go to the plane? I mean, there's yeah. no oh, other you exit. said there was no other door here. Yeah, there's no Voice door. Just from looking around, you don't see it. Like, just standing where you are and looking around, you don't see another door. Do you think that we then need to make our own door with these magic tags? I'm not telling you. Well, I'm, gonna, like that's what we're I'm going to inspect the walls Okay. for maybe a hidden door. Okay. I check Naboo's tummy again. I got a 17. Okay. He got a door on his so, tummy? 17. As you wander around the room, you now see that... Hidden behind some of these uh, weird rocks that are in that area, there is a cage of sorts, but it's almost like a see-through cage, and there are see-through chains that are attached to what can only be described 
as a half baboon, Mm -hmm. half bear, Mm -hmm. half Billy Mays. Mm. So it's got the bottom half of a baboon, red ass and all, top half of a bear, and then Billy Mays' head on it. Mays baboon. Yes. Yes. And it is currently chained. He's amazing. Ah. I hailed Thurstone for a Uh, turn. Hello. Possible bugbear. Possible no? I don't what are you? Well I'm not a bug bear. <laughs> what? Oh, I hate you. <laughs> are you a hug bear? I could be your hug bear. But I've been trapped inside this case for I don't know how long. How do I let you out? You seem friendly and not dangerous, <laughs> and also like a member of the party already. Very familiar. Have you met some up? Well, I saw him over there getting his brains eaten now. Where do I know that voice from? <laughs> oh my god. You no, know I know that voice. He's getting his brains eaten now. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was traumatic. Do we want to do anything with this corpse? I mean, you guys always <laughs> seem to, to be using them to disarm traps and whatnot. We could bring it with us. Uh, pick up pick up the, the octop, octop dudes. The tent of man. I think I'll get Zabub. Tent of man. I pick Zabub up. Okay, you do. No, it's not Zabub anymore. Well, the lifeless corpse that used to be husk. known as <laughs> Zabub. <clears throat> yeah, do whatever you want. He's not using it. So, uh... Now, is there a key to get this... How do I let you out? Boy, man, boom, out? Oh, it looks like uh, the shackles on the... So the chains on the outside have just like a, a latch you can just... I unlatch them. Yeah, the chains just dissipate. And the oh, cage, too. And all of a sudden, the creature is freed. Wow. Well, you had a rogue to pick the locks. Hey, brother, Magic. what's your name? Stink uh. Willy. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Stink Willy. It's not so much fun trying to come up with names on the fly, is it? <laughs> Stink Willy's a good name. Al <laughs> Tritch. Alf. Just call him Alf. Scrum. Alien life. <laughs> <laughs> Eats cats. Elf. Eldritch life form. Abe Abomination. Abraham Abomination? Bubaz. 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 Brabass. <laughs> Bobo. <laughs> bear, baboon, Billy Bays. Amazing. Bears. Baboon. Bear, Battlestar Galactica. Bear Nays. Bear, bear Nays. <laughs> bear Nays. Bear Mays. Ba- bear Mayo? Well, well, they call me Billy Bays. Oh. The bear boon. Well, um, all right. Oh. And I've been trapped in here for God knows how long. Which god? Which god, brother? Any of them. Oh. All of them. Wait, which gods are there now? Well, I don't know. Friendship. There's, there's, uh... Whiskers. Good boy. There's Whiskers. There's... Probably well, there was a little girl, but she's not anymore. But then... Atar, maybe. And... Some orcish gods, and the god of mayonnaise. Oh, I know that one. Oh, right. Hellman. <laughs> Hellman. The Duke Hellman. Uh, now, who put you in these chains, Mr. Baboon? Billy. Well, I was put in here by these illithids. Long ago. Maybe not too long ago. I don't know. So... Oh, I thought there was a story coming on. He said long ago. <laughs> Billy Bays is semi-ethereal. He can't pass through walls or anything, but he also can't physically interact. But he can sh- do various spells that he's hopefully chosen. Are you a ghost? Yeah, brother, why are you so... I, I, I got a bunch of cantrips. Yep, ten Not... different cantrips that he can use. Are there any other stats? Nope, because you can't be... Nothing can interact with you, so it doesn't really matter. Do I have a proficiency modifier? Sure, we'll do, go with a four. What what do I treat my spell <coughs> level as for cantrips? Ten. Whatever the second level is. Yeah. yeah. So it'd be fifth level caster, I yeah. think. And when you released Billy Bays, that's the name, right? Billy Bays. Mm-hmm. Uh the door appears <laughs> into the wall. That sounds like a door <laughs> appearing. <laughs> 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 Oh, and here's my door. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wait, you brought this door? Well, after you release me, I, I, the, the, the door just appears. I 
understand this. That seems oddly specific, brother. This castle must be attached to my life force somehow. Let's not think about it. Can you feel it if I throw a rock against the wall? No! No. You, he didn't throw it yet. He said ow. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said ow. That was a, it was a sympathetic it's the, ow. It's the name of this place. It's it's ow. Like a, it's like a sympathetic pregnancy. He's not really pregnant, but he's feeling all the same things. Cass ow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. No. I hate this show. <laughs> this is why you black out every night. Yeah. I drink on the way home. <clears throat> Just put an IV of good. 151. I'm not doing good. well. That's good. Things right. aren't good at home either. Okay. I'm just never happy anymore. I go through the door. Okay. You open it and there is a, uh, seems to be a hallway. Suzanne's just one-shotting him in PvP every night. With a <laughs> dirt floor. And by PvP, he means marriage. <laughs> it's penis versus pliers. <laughs> pliers? <laughs> Not pussy? Penis no, no, no. Pussy? Versus pliers. <laughs> Wait, who has She's the pl- one shotting you? She has the pliers or I have the pliers? She's got the pliers. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Her pussy is literally just a pair of pliers. Kind of. It's is. a horrible accident when Rusty with a old bike. pliers. It's the needle nose, too. Yeah, of yeah course. So it gets them right in your pee hole. She and just <laughs> puts it in and then opens it. <laughs> ha! <laughs> it's a diculum. <laughs> <laughs> Dick the I enter the hallway. <laughs> okay. How far of a hallway is it? It is about 50 feet. Are there lights? Uh, Yeah, there are sconces. And every 10 feet, there seems to be these dirt mounds. But they're just in the center of the hallway that you can easily walk around them. The dirt mounds are probably about mm, two feet in diameter, about a foot tall. Uh, you should totally throw Zabub's corpse onto one of those mounds. To I'm going to I'm throw an Illithid corpse onto the first mound. Okay. Uh, you hear this weird scurrying noise. It's fucking ants. Yeah. Yep. And you hear some popping noises, like small explosions, but then it gets quiet. And you can see the ants swarming around and going into all the broken holes of the Illithid. And then the mm-hmm. Illithid stands back up. And starts wandering towards you guys. No. Slowly. Hello, million ants. <laughs> the great god of ants has risen. Hello. And the, the hand, like, weekend at Bernie's just limply goes up. Mm. So running? Oh, you think that's dangerous? We don't want them to touch us because they'll burrow into our flesh and then take over our bodies. Yes, I agree. Oh, well, nope. these are just friendly ants. Nobody has a <laughs> pot of boiling water that we can pour in all these ant holes? No. Yeah, can we make liquid mercury? <clears throat> Wait, can you create boiling water? No, oh, I can't do that. Oh. <laughs> can you create water, then heat it up, also create a pot, and then we well, can dump it down create bonfire. Or you just create water, and then we put it in the thing, and then you create bonfire, and we boil it on top. But you, don't, you can't, so it doesn't, doesn't matter. Even if you could, I feel like you don't boil water... Instantly, so it would no, take, it would some, take time. some time. Yeah, so we'll just camp and well, well the short is, rest. The and if you have a fire that's yeah. hot time enough, you can boil <laughs> water instantly. That is true. Yes. Can we just go around him? No, you could go around him. How He's wide is this hallway? Right? It's about fifteen feet wide. So you could walk, just walk by him. Hey, that's He's not fireball. moving very fast. I got fireball. You have fireball now? Did you get a fireball? I don't know. My spells seem different than they were last time. You re-rolled your spells You did re-roll time. spells. I didn't know clerics mm. got fireball. I'm pretty sure they don't. Cleric, light, fireball. I guess I don't actually get to choose that. Well, are you I'm, are you a light, light domain cleric? cleric? Well, I just realized that they have <laughs> domains on the bottom of them. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't ask about that Jesus. grasping vine I've been casting. <laughs> <laughs> what okay. domain are you? <laughs> War. Yeah. Non- what? He's a war priest. Yeah. Were a f- How does that have to do with friendship? The war on friendship, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's been going for a long time. Cats and dogs. The war on whiskers. I'm a crusader for friendship. <laughs> well, that's fine. Don't throw that spell. It's applicable. Like, All right. made dead. So, like, I guess we'll just walk around it. Yeah. And just go to the end of the hallway. I'm going to have my sword out and try to walk around it. Always okay. keeping... Con- eye contact with okay. each mound. When you get about... A f- we didn't have a walking order yet? Okay. How are you doing this? I'm going behind Thurstone. 
and I'm still holding an illithid corpse. So both on the same side yeah. of the hall? Or are you like splitting the difference, or how's this working? I will go behind Naboo. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why are you? Uh, okay. Whatever. Don't ask me that. Now, Naboo, you look like you're in better shape and uh, I am quite have a handsome. little bit more HP than I do, so I, I, I feel like it would be better, and you're stronger and faster and. God damn! If you're not adorable, I, I you know, I kind of want to walk behind you. Want to walk you. forward? Okay. Which side of the hallway would you like to? The try? right side. Okay. When you get within about five feet of this thing, it starts to puff up you. and make crackly noises. Oh, it's gonna explode. You. I'm gonna move backwards. What's with everything exploding okay. in here? Does it keep doing that? Yeah, it's still going. I'm gonna. It's move also back. still walking towards I'm, you. I'm going. I'm going through the door. Okay. And I'm closing it. Okay, so you close the door. <laughs> well, I'm on that. Okay. Oh, so you're keeping them in the, yeah, sure. in the room. Okay. No, I'm just going through the door. Okay. Is anyone else leaving the hallway? How many mounds did you say there were? Five. Do you want me to blow it up? Kind of. Silly man. 25 and a 25. Yeah, it's going to hit. Let me find my D10. Who all's in the hallway right now? I back out, so it's just Sachi. And <laughs> Sachi wasn't in there, was he? He never went. So it's just So you guys are Billy. just in the doorway. Billy Bays. For, for 18 points of damage. Okay. As soon as the fire Eldridge hits the blasts. body. Okay. No, it's not fire. Okay. Necrotic energy. As soon energy. as you do any no. damage to the body, it explodes. Is it necrotic? Eldridge Blast? I don't think it's necrotic. I think it's force. Either way. He explodes. The door's still open? No, I closed it. Okay. <laughs> Are you holding the door? Like, I close like, it. Like, did you just close it and you're just sitting there waiting? Or? No, I close it. Get your foot against the bottom of it? <clears throat> That's not... What? Wait, which... Did I... Did I close the door like this or like this? It was uh, a pull-open door. Pull-open. Yeah. So I closed the door. Okay. And then I just move to the side. I'm not, like, holding it shut or anything. Okay, good. Because the door just explodes. Oh, fantastic. Hinges, yeah. <laughs> As, like, a big fireball and smoke just goes... And ants. By. Yes. Well, you don't really see the ants anymore. Does it smell like popcorn? Are they fire ants? It kind of smells like popcorn. Uh, Is that a thing burnt, with burning burnt ants? Burnt popcorn. Yeah. Ants. A lot yeah. of ants burning. Yeah, it smells like burnt popcorn. So when the smoke wafts away, there's, like, a crater where the guy was... And that first ant mound's pretty much gone. So there's just four ant mounds. Let's not touch those. Well, as soon as we get near them, they start I'm going out. to laxadaisically walk towards the next <laughs> mound, throw the other illithid corpse onto it, and run back through the door. Okay. And hide. <laughs> okay. Around the wall. Uh, it'll do the same thing. It'll fill with ants, and then it'll start gonna, walking towards the door. And blast it. Okay. No, I'm not. Okay. Try again. It keeps walking towards the door for six seconds. Next round of combat. uh, Billy, (laughs) blast it. I'm going to start dismembering. 27. It hits. I'm going to start dismembering the body of Zabub. 12 points. Okay. It gets to about the same spot that the last one got. Oh, no. And explodes. The doorway to which the hallway is looking a bit rough. Like, it may collapse from all the explosions that are just mm. happening right in front of it. Mm. So it's not broken, but it's not looking great. What's the end of that hall look like? A door. Okay. So three ant mounds. Well, so it's I'm a gonna, 50-foot hallway. I'm going to start taking apart Zabub's body. Okay. Three, Survival? Three parts. You just want three parts. Head, yeah. chest, and... Knees and toes. Knees Head, and toes. shoulders, knees, and toes. That's four okay. parts. Why don't you just like, tear his arms off? Well, I was going to say, take his head, cut his torso, torso and, and then yeah. legs. Uh, I figured that's what he was doing. Survival is a 17. <clears throat> yeah, you do. Pretty cleanly. Cool. Do we want to just keep throwing these body parts and hope that we don't explode them at the same point every time? Hey, Billy. Why don't you just shoot the mound? Next mound. Well, that's an idea. You can do that. It I'll is shoot, an idea. Shoot the mound. Okay. Uh, Twenty something. Okay, it hits. I'm gonna use two. Are, two none blasts. Of the, are none of the spells you've picked usable? None of them. Great. Not good. none of them. 
<laughs> just you know, identify <laughs> wall of flame, <laughs> all the things, all the things using. that I've been doing. I was grasping like, fine. Man, this cleric's really powerful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Clerics are fucking. I thought you were a knowledge cleric. I'm like that's why he has all these sure. spells and things is because he's very <laughs> smart of a. Cl- no, he's a war cleric. I've got make war. Um, so you shoot the mound, mm-hmm. and it the top of it just bursts off and explodes, and then millions of ants start pouring out of the hole in the ground towards the door. You fucked up now. I'm going to throw the head of Zabub in there. Okay. Try to get it as close to the mound as possible. Okay. Strength? Yeah. Cool. 18. You do. It bounces uh, pretty close to the mound, rolls through the ants, and uh, some of them run up to the head and blow up like little pop 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 and just blow some chunks off of the head and then the rest of the ants in that mound start going into it and now it just starts to roll pretty quickly why don't you try blasting it up billy man i want to draw something else what do you want to try billy heroin <laughs> <laughs> well you need real things for that <laughs> I don't have any mithril syringes. I do. You got these silver daggers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a ray of frost. Okay. At the head of Zebub. Okay. That's that's going to be a botch. Okie dokie. I blow myself up. You get real tired. And you sort of, sort of <sighs> just can't do anything for the rest of this turn. <sighs> You're tuckered out. From all this activity. It's the most activity you've had in like 10,000 years. You're just shooting off all kinds of energy wads shooting towards ants. Shooting off all ants. kinds of loads. So the ant... You know, I, I think you boys better take care of this one. <laughs> so the, uh. <laughs> the Zabub head is rolling very quickly towards... It's not moving anywhere nearly as slow as the, the bodies were. It's rolling pretty quick like a bunch of hamsters in a ball. Just... Wait till it gets Anybody out. Anybody have... A and bow, an arrow? Nobu has a light crossbow. I got one. <clears throat> like to wait until it. it comes out of the door. And do what with it? Shoot it. Come out of the door, so it's in, in the doorway that's already currently weakened. Yeah, so let it roll out. I think he's saying let it roll for, far the, into your room. Yes. But isn't it... Co- well, I guess we could wait and see if it's going towards us or just it's trying to go forward. Definitely oh, coming towards yeah, us. Yeah, it's definitely coming for us. <laughs> so we could run... A couple yards away from the, the door, and when it gets close-ish... How far away is it right now? If you're standing right next to the doorway, 15 feet. Oh. And rolling at like a normal pace of like a person running. You have any spells that you just picked that could be helpful? <laughs> that you can actually cast? I guess I could cast Sacred Flame and throw fire at it. You can. I'll do that. How close to the other craters is it? It's like right on the edge of the other crater. I think you should wait until it gets out of that room and into ours. I think if we move backwards a little bit away from this door and then cast it so you don't collapse the room. Is that a danger? You yeah. move back. I move back. I move back into the elephant room. All the way back. Okay. So you go all the way to the back to the other Get side. Get on of the room. top of a rock. Okay. Uh, Satch, are you doing that too? Sure. Okay, so you all back up. The head rolls into the room. I throw fire at it. How far into the room do you want it to get before you throw fire at it? Ten foot? Mm, well, I would say more. Mm, probably a little more. Hold. <laughs> Wait, do you see the holes in his eyes? I don't want to get exploded. <laughs> Wait to see the, I don't know, the white of the his thighs. Skulls. The milkiness of his the, eyes. The emptiness of its skull. <laughs> Hey, no bull. What? Ah! <laughs> so, oh, no, how far would you like it? Hey, no bull. Until Thurstone says fire. Thurstone, how far would you like the head to roll into the room before someone yells fire? And by someone, I mean you. How far away from it uh, are we from it now? If you're on the other side of the room, it's a, it was about a 60-foot room, so if it rolls in 15 feet, you 45 feet. 30 feet. And hide behind a rock. That's what I'm thinking. 30 feet. Light it up. Don't miss. Yeah, let's hope I'm good at throwing <laughs> fire. <laughs> oh, I've been adding three times proficiency this whole time. <laughs> My proficiency oh, actually, bonus is a 12, right? It, it just makes a deck a, save. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Sure, we'll go with it. It doesn't. Sweet. It takes. I feel like a bun- fuckload of ants are not that dexterous. He rolled Strong, a, though. Rolled a two. Ooh. So, like a negative um, five. It takes seven radiant damage. It explodes. Uh, not quite as large of an explosion as the last two times, but... Because those were full illithid bodies. Yep. Yeah. So, it blows up, um, causing rocks to go all over the place. Uh, you guys just get hit with little pebbles and things like that, so it's doesn't the explosion force doesn't go quite far enough to ruin your day or anything. So, yeah, that happens. Why don't we just, like, walk through that room, bros, and not step on the mounds? Well, as soon as you get close to them, they start coming out and start creeping towards you. Mm. Now, unless you want to be controlled by ants. However, there's only two more mounds, right? Mm -hmm. How much distance does that cover? Because the room is 15 feet wide, the mound Mm -hmm. is two feet wide. Mm -hmm. They're spread pretty equidistant throughout this hallway, Mm -hmm. which was how... 50 feet. 50 feet. So they're about the last uh, 10 and 20 feet of the hallway. Oh, all right. How about a double move action? We'll just be done with this room. Unless is they the, come through the door. Is there a door on the other side? That, that we can door see? could be There's locked. Door. What if it's locked? Yeah. Missile kick. Yeah, double move missile kick. <laughs> but I, bl- I bless you first, so you. I'll do it. Extra missile kick. I'll do it. I think I have my action search still. So. <laughs> okay. So do I. So you're just sprinting through the, the hall and doing the missile kick? Yeah, we're going to get, well, like... we're going to see if the door is open. Are all of you, like, running as yeah, a group? Yeah, we, we have to do it at the same time. <laughs> okay. Um, and right. I can give you a gun. Hey, Billy. <laughs> do you have a chance? I is do that, now. <laughs> is that like the stranger? Uh, where you have ten pounds of force to try and open that door. Fifteen? Fifteen? It's I don't ten. know. It's ten. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got that. You try and open that door. Please. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go float on over to the door. And try to open it with my mage hand. Keep your mage hand strong. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, the mage hand could ju- the, the knob just turns and you have to pull it in. It's yeah. not a push out, but yeah. What's on the other side of the door? It's a Ants! <laughs> <Light>. <laughs> it's a brick wall. Mm, looks like it's a, a gray stone room. They run. Like, yeah, I'm just going to do a double yeah. move action and get into the room. I slammed the door shut. No! <laughs> <laughs> Suckers! That's why I was locked up for mischief. It's an illusionary door. <laughs> Give me crack! <laughs> Cocaine. Whatever. You don't know he didn't do it. No, no, he was a coke addict. I know. But you don't know he didn't do crack, too. If he could afford cocaine, he wouldn't smoke crack. I don't know. It's not true. You're right. <laughs> So you're all just running? 15. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, you, you do. You run. You don't get tired. I mean, you can just double move, run. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Jump. So you, you run through. As you're running by the ant mounds and causing lots of vibrations and things, that's when the Good ants vibrations. start to... Yeah, sure. The ants start to pour out, but you run right by them and into the uh, to the other room. Is that door, like... It's open. Se- well, I know, but when we close it, does it fully seal off the bottom and everything? No, it's just closed. So the ants can just come... Maybe. Chase us. Okay. One by one. I mean, you can put your eye ba- down there. Towards yeah. The, My yeah. what? You can put your eye down there towards okay. the... Your good eye. Yeah. <laughs> your eye bat. That's what I heard. I, I heard eye bat, bat as well. <laughs> Get your eye backs out and put it under the door. Do you have any more of Zabub's body parts? We could yeah, try to jam have, under the, body, the door. <clears throat> I have his torso and Although his... I guess they would just occupy it and explode at us. So yeah. Let's not do that. No. So Describe I'm... the stone hallway. So this isn't a hallway. This is a square room. Yes. Um, Filling with, with ants? No. Oh. It's um, like cobblestone almost. Like it's a very different type style of stone. And there is a small circular pad in the middle. And then there is a, I would call it an eight foot tall humanoid in dark robes that you don't see the, the head or anything. Oh, hey, brother. How are you doing? Doesn't say anything. It's just standing there next to this. It's not a pedestal. Like it's like a little platform about... Six inches off the ground. Ah, too there good are... to talk to dwarves, are you? <laughs> Let them are... have it, Thurstone. There are sconces on the wall, but the flames are blue. Now, I apologize for our mule that we have with <laughs> us, sir. I'm guessing you're some sort of lich. It's not saying it's That's just, fine. Just I mean, the there. strong, silent type. <clears throat> I respect that. You know, not just bouncing around, throwing insults, and spitting on people. <laughs> what a monster. 
I can't wait till we find out you're the final boss, Sachi. <laughs> so I'm going to go around him. Okay. The floating... He's not even floating. His, his robes just are on the ground like they go about... Brother, I'm going to stand on that pedestal. Uh, you go to walk onto the pedestal. You get about a foot, and then you, you sort of... Boom, like you run into an invisible wall. And as you run into this invisible wall, we're going to take a break. <laughs> oh, hey, um... Hey, listeners, this is Dennis Swartz, Must Okay, it's DM. Uh, last time we talked, I was locked in Phil's sister's basement dungeon. He heard what I said, and he didn't like it, so he almost choked me to death. Luckily, his hands are so fat and greasy, he just choked me mostly to death. Unfortunately, he has buried me alive. Uh, I have very little battery left, but hopefully I can get through this. So, I, I say we stick it to him. Just head on over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review. At this point, we are two five-star reviews away from being able to publish those incredibly, incredibly insensitive Christmas episodes for everybody to have, not just the people that are paying us money. So head on over there and give us a five-star review just to stick it to Phil. Sort of a last dying wish of mine, if you will. Um, Also, if you would like, head on over to patreon.com slash botch podcast and help support the show because then it helps us give us more things that we love to do. It's getting a little dizzy in here. I think I might be running out of oxygen. For a dollar, we'll read your name off at the end of the show. Three dollars gets you the bonus episodes. Five dollars gets you access to the Discord and early access to episodes. And Ten dollars gets you the ability to create content for the week-to-week episodes. Fifteen dollars gets you uh, gets you behind-the-scenes botched love videos about my horrible dating stories. Twenty dollars gets you digital art prints of things from the botched universe. Twenty-five dollars gets you quarterly care packages filled with all sorts of botched goodies and oh god 30 dollars gets you the executive producer level where you get a private chat room with us and you get to help make decisions for the good or bad of the show and we read your name off at the end of every episode 40 dollars oh boy 40 dollars gets you uh gets you playable one-offs from me don't worry i've i've set aside uh, a number of these in the most likely event of my death, and $50 lets you play with the Botched Boys. So head on over to patreon.com slash botchpodcast and subscribe today. That should be enough message. Uh, Alright, so hopefully this phone has enough battery so I can call 911. And we're back. Alright, so yeah. Sachi just walked into an invisible wall. <clears throat> Boom. Ow. And there's like these weird little ripples when he hits it. That was weird. Is it like in Donnie Darko when he's stabbing the knife into the like, invisible wall in his bathroom? Sure. Yeah. It's been a while since I've seen that movie, but I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, you should probably watch where you're going there, Sashi. I'm going to walk around it and just keep pawing at it. Seems to be a cube. Okay, so it's a cube around like it. a cube around this pedestal. And the guy? No. Guy's just standing there. Now, Sash, why don't you just tug on his robes real quick and get his attention? Hey, you there! Tug, tug, tug. What do you want? What's in the pestle? It's the elevator up. Well, how do I get it, brother? You wish to go up. I do. There is no way back. Eh, uh, brother, we our own. Maybe we should take a short or long rest and heal up before going What's up, up there, to the final brother? boss. Death. What's down here? Oh, so if you're already here, then probably not as much death. <laughs> Who are you? I'm the gatekeeper. What's your name? Are you the key master? <laughs> I am. Oh, okay. And he bends over. Mm. Slip it in. It's just filled with spiders. Mm. But, uh, oh, they're I'm so sure cute. S- S- Satchi's used to that. You, Satchi, put your key in. What, maybe we should <laughs> keep the key. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, you, you still wanna... have your wand, don't you? Do you want to... <laughs> Oh, I, I do. I would love some help because I'm at 35. We could take 100. a little resty. I don't know how. Ha- That's right. Uh, Mr. Keeper was my senor, father. Senor Keeper? Yes. Do, can we, do we have to go up right away or could we possibly, you know, take camp here real quick? Make some food, take some naps. Will you watch us? What do you like to eat? Can you watch the room so nothing bad happens to us? Maybe keep the ants away, brother. The ants are not coming. 
I mean, would you mind? Like, I know we just met, but we're we're, we're pretty tired. You know, we, we fought sure. some flyers. By the way, while you're asking for this, the castle shakes a bit. Oh, I'm sure that's nothing. I mean, we've only taken, like, six short, long rests in here. <laughs> like six days. <laughs> mm, yeah, I don't think we have time. Yeah, but... You've been in here for six days? It You've feels... been in here for 10,000 years. Shut I've up. been here for 10,000 years, or maybe 10 minutes, I don't know. You're not prepared. Well, no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, Illidan. <laughs> but also... You're dead. You, you're multi-dead. Is he dead? No. He's not dead. What happened to him at the end of Legion? He just went. He just left. Sure. Hey, do you have magical powers? Maybe we don't have to sleep. If maybe you can just. Sort of. Uh, do you, you know? Have, do you have any healing potions? A blackout potion, maybe. No. Do you have cure wounds? My magical powers are to basically take away the invisible cube. What about the invisible cube that is my missing hit point pool? No. Uh. Um. I mean, I could just spend all my spells and then uh, go in, whatever, willy nilly. Dilly dilly. Uh, Mr. Billy, do you have any healing cantrips? No, no such, such things thing. don't exist! I didn't think so. Good Barry. <laughs> mending. Do you have good I bear? have mending. You're do you a good, person. Do you have good Barry? Good Barry's a first level spell. Fuck. Well, all right. good Barry. I'm, I'm, spending, good I'm spending them all. Let's do it. Well, if you wanted to take a nap, I could keep watch for you. Nah, this castle's rumbling. I don't think we should do that. You could take a short rest and just regain your hit dice. That's Seems dangerous. Takes an hour instead of eight. I think that's probably a good idea. Yeah. yeah. It's not all your hit points, right? It's no, just... you have to roll No, you can roll your... Uh, we would have eight of our hit dice that we can oh, okay. get back. Or they. You can get that much back in an hour? Yeah, a short wait. rest. It could be anywhere but between. But you don't get your hit dice back but until a long rest, right? You you only get uh, half your hit dice back on a short rest, or a long rest, I think. Yeah. You don't get all of your hit dice back on a long rest if you spend them all. Okay. So in a short rest, you can roll you know, your your D8s, your D10s, or whatever, mm-hmm. and get that much HP back, but it doesn't all One come or back. eight of them? You can expend... As many as you want. Okay. It's equal to your level, okay. but you don't get all of them back on a long rest. Oh, okay. So then if you don't get all of them back, next time you take a short rest, you can't use all of them if you wanted to. I got you. Well, Sack is like a two-thirds. That's pretty good. I am almost at full because I rolled a lot of eights and nines. Still ready to expend all of my hit spell slots. Just heal us. No, 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 we'll need them. Hit for spell what? slots. I have shitty spells now. You only lost four spells. So, what's your name? We never got your name, Gatekeeper. I don't have a name. Oh, I say. Do, do you want a name? Not particularly. But let's call him Doot. Doot. Doot, brother. Hello, Doot. Doot. I kind of like Doot, brother, as well. You do, you, Doots. You are my doots, doot. my doots, <laughs> rootin' dootin', giving my deets to the doots. I think we're ready now. Are we ready? Uh, we Everybody? are ready. Do I gain spell slots after an too? hour? No. Oh, none of them. No. You're not a wizard, are you? I am Harry. a wizard. Harry. <laughs> yeah, he's a wizard of I'm the war domain. Harry, wizard of the war domain. <laughs> it's you in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't follow rules. Up to this point, why would I start now? Like a Harry All my wizard of the beer domain. Well, no, just like just like Phil is every single archetype of rogue. He's Tristan everything. is every single domain. I'm his multi-classing rogue. No, the friendship domain allows me to borrow spells from other domains as long as you return them. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I get to use them once, and then I give them back. Okay. All right, Mister Dutes. I think we're ready to go upstairs. What is up? I know you said death. But what else is upstairs? Just so I can get a like mind Like the concept space. of death. For those of you who are not pure of heart, this will be very difficult. Oh, um, you're all gonna die. I mean, <laughs> no pure, way, brother. Pure heart. He has is... not known us long, but purity of heart is not something that we are known for. <laughs> <laughs> Nobu has tons of character, brother. Uh, uh, stone has got. I didn't say character. Three limbs. It's not. It doesn't even sound like the word I use. It's not like we set a forest fire. I mean, that man has passed already. 
What? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he was the one that was not pure of heart. No, they never found the guy that started the campfire in the- California. I'm pretty sure it was above. <laughs> he wasn't raking enough. Yeah. But I'm re- I'm ready. I feel I know that I'm pure of heart. But should you make it to the top of the castle, you will find the wizard there. What's his name? I do not know. But you work for him? No. Perhaps it is lost to history. No, I just don't know it. Oh. That's kind of weird to take a job in a castle and you don't stay know the in this boss. Room. It's not a job. How when did, did you... you get here? When the castle was made. When was that? Back when the gods were separated. And you had to submit a resume no, to get an elevated they job? they just made me. Who did you use? They made you? They made me. What is my purpose? <laughs> you open the elevator door. Yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, the more... Are we you... supposed to tip you? No. Why you look Can so I? spooky? If, if, why you they want. make you spooky looking if, if you just run the elevator? Because it's a spooky castle. <laughs> it was themed. Oh, if I if they put me in the birthday castle, I'd be a clown. Hold on, there's a different. No, no, castle? no, that would be more more <laughs> scary. I like you, dude. You are ominous but spooky. There are many castles. Well, what what other castles are there? We got spooky castle. We got, we got samurai castle. castle. We got samurai western castle. castle. Western castles. Game of Thrones castle. No. Game of Thrones. No, not confirmed. Not confirmed. Yes, we don't want spoilers. Ah, uh, we've got uh, Irish Castle, <laughs> Potato Castle, Potato Castle, British Controlled Rajasthan Castle, New Castle, White Castle, oh. Green Castle, Old Castle. Let's not be racist over there, White Castle. <laughs> it's it's a burger. No, it's chain. just everything's <laughs> small and oh, really? squared. <laughs> it's a burger chain. Oh my god! <laughs> we only go to Burger King. They have bleach on dispenser there. It's it's. it's good. I thought bleach was Taco Bell. It's a combination. They're all owned by the same god. Oh, Bleach. Jesus. They're all owned by the same god. The same Clorox. <laughs> Clorox. <laughs> what did you Clorox. think was in the Baja Blast? That's, That's why the nuggets the are so cheap. That's why the nuggets are ten for a dollar. Eat the bleed. You don't pay more with money than you do with your health. And soul. We made too much bleach. Uh, so do... Um, let's go. Okay. Should, should, brother, should we all get on at once, or is it a one-a-time kind of thing? Or... We'll all get on at once. Should we hold hands in friendship? You do you. Let's can, hold hams. Can, uh, <laughs> can chimpanzee maze come with us? Sure. Hey, dude. Hold out your hand. He holds out empty sleeves. What? Are you just a robe? I don't have hands. Are you just a robe? <laughs> He's just a robe. I Give me your robe. You're coming with us. It's everywhere. You will see the world. No. I grab the robe. Okay. I will attempt to pull it with us. Okay. You pull the robe, it's a clown. Underneath it? Oh yeah, God. there's a clown. Uh, <laughs> without, without hands? <laughs> you <laughs> are from the birthday castle. This is the birthday castle. <laughs> <laughs> No! No, let's go now! <laughs> boo! <laughs> boo. No, boo is your name. Boo. So you all get on the platform then? Yeah, let's, let's yeah, do it. Brother. Okay. Yeah, I kind of float on it. Yeah. Float on. He, all right. He <laughs> waves uh, an empty sleeve, and it goes, and you sort of just rise through the air, up through this invisible pneumatic tube of sorts. So long, dude. I hope you find what you're looking for someday. You should stop being a clown. I'm pretty sure that's just the ghost of Christmas present. What? What? What's Continue. Christmas? How can my Christmas present be a ghost if it's ours? That would be the best Christmas it present. It's King Boo. It's, it's the ghost of the puppy that I'm going to kill that I get for Christmas. <laughs> he left it in the... He bought it in January <laughs> of last year I and forgot it. about it. <laughs> oh, shit. You're supposed to feed those. Mm. Oh, well. You, you get, get puppy air? bones. <laughs> you get puppy bones for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Just put them in the acid vat. It'll be, it'll be fine. <laughs> There's probably not maggots anymore, right? I don't know. So, yeah. So, you just keep going up through the... It, it, if you had to guess, I would say probably about 300 feet uh, of, of, is what it feels like before it sort of just settles up on another level in the floor. We've gone up about 300 feet. Closes. Yeah, brother, that's what I felt, too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and the floor closes behind you, so now you're back on a solid pedestal. And you're in 
pretty much the same looking room, but there is one door, and it is white. I open it. Okay. Throws a bub's torso through it first. It is a uh, swirling vortex. Magical splendor. A swirling vortex of splendor. I'm going to walk through it. Okay, you do. Bloop. Bloop. Yeah, same. Okay. Okay, bloop. brother. Bloop. I'll go through it. Okay. So you all go bloop, 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 bloop. Uh, <laughs> bloop, bloop, <laughs> Ryan. Ryan. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> bloop down a bottle of beer. Here bloops to you, baby. Thurstone, you open your eyes, and you seem to be just kind of standing outside. Seems to be in a rather mountainous region, but you don't see anybody else. You're a camel. I look at myself. You look you look normal. <laughs> like a normal camel. I, s- I still have the body of Zabub on me. Uh no, you don't see it. No. Oh. Mm. Are you naked? No. No, you're full. You're, you have all the same stuff you had before. Even if he wasn't wearing clothing, he still wouldn't be naked. He's a dwarf. Covered in hair. It's matted. <laughs> it's very matted. He mm. didn't comb it like the way he was supposed well, to. It's got knots. It's He's got a, body, yeah. body dreadlocks. He's a dirty <laughs> dog. <laughs> body uh, so, yeah, you're just... It seems to be like a nice... Do I feel like I'm home? Like it's, it's No, it's wh- a mountain, not a hill. Oh, well, sometimes hills can be mountains. Not all mountains can be hills. Natty hill dwarf! Stop making mountains out of dwarf hills. You do hear somebody running towards you in the distance. You can't see it yet, but you hear it. Do they sound fit? They're out of breath. It's the beginning of a flying circus episode. (laughs) Kind of out of breath, yeah. (laughs) Bessie! Bessie, come back! Bessie! Do I recognize, like, the accent? Yeah, it's a mountain dwarf. It's hill people. I'm going to walk towards it. Okay. So as you walk towards it, the uh, it, it's quite apparent that it is a mountain dwarf, and he sort of, like, beams when he sees you. And he yells, Bessie! I thought I lost you, Bessie! And he, he runs up to you, and he puts a lasso around you real fast. No, 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 no. Don't, don't I get, like, a... a... Sure, if you want. How does a ten work? You don't. Okay. Yeah. He just he just puts the little rope oh, I'm sorry. loosely around your neck. Around like... my neck? I, yeah. No, I don't like that, <clears throat> sir. What's your name? I'm not your Bessie. Oh, Bessie, I'm so glad to see you, too. Is this Detective Pikachu? Come on, but Bessie. Nobody can understand me but one person? Come on, back to the herd, Bessie. Oh, boy, this... I don't, I don't know about this. How loose is it? It's pretty loose. I take it off. Well, Bessie! This isn't like gonna, you at all, Bessie. I'm going to step away from him. Okay. You step away from him? Yeah. Okay. He just tries to put the... the... I'm going to just keep trying to stay away from him. Come on, Bessie. I'm going to touch him. Okay. To, like, on his on his shoulder. Okay. Does it, he feel real? Yeah, he feels real. Now, I, I don't understand, and it, maybe it's your potato brain, old, <laughs> old mountain dwarf, that you don't understand language. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you're deaf. Oh, Bessie, don't you be giving me no fuss. Come on. He tries to put the last around your neck again. He rolled an 11. 12. Okay. So you just can't. Come on. I don't know why you're acting this way, now, Bessie. Now, now, sir, what's your name? He doesn't seem to respond to any of your God words. God damn it. <laughs> he just keeps you're talking to you about you being Bessie. Fucking brains of a mountain dwarf is unreal. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, no. Come on, I'm Bessie. Right. I'm going to come with you now, but it's on my own accord. I don't need no ropes around my neck. So he puts the he puts the rope around your neck. This time he makes it a little tighter. He's like, well, Bessie, I don't normally make it this time, but you're acting all kinds well, of normally twitchy people today. People buy me dinner before they tie me up. Come like on, oh, don't you fool at me. Come on, <laughs> Bessie. <laughs> now I feel like you're just mocking me, sir. Come on. So he, he just starts leading you slowly. I'm going to follow, because obviously talking to this, you said mountain person? Yeah. Okay. It's a mountain dwarf. Mountain yeah. dwarf. Yeah. So he, he leads you. I'm going to try something. Listen here, brother. I, I ain't no Bessie. I'm a, I'm a dwarf, you can see, brother. See, understand that? Oh, I love you too, Bessie. God, <laughs> you damn, too. God, God, you. Damn, this is worse than being a camel. So, <laughs> so he... <laughs> He starts pulling you along. Do I have my arm? No. Fuck. 
all right, that's fine. Let's keep going. Yeah. And he's walking you back towards the mountain. And he's, he even talks about, you know, Oh, Bessie, I know it's been hard ever since you lost that leg to the thresher. Oh, all right. But he just keeps keeps taking And then as you go over a, a hill towards the mountain, oh, I like him. there's a herd of Cam- camels. Ca- no. Camels, yes. <laughs> and he's taking no. you back towards the camels. No. I'm going to start fighting now. <laughs> okay. Strength? Crit 20. Ah, oh, because you rolled a 19. Yeah. Whoa, Bessie! Whoa! What's gotten into you, girl? I'm going to take my sword out. Okay. Cut and the cut the rope. So he can't okay. lasso me with it again. Okay. Uh, Roll a d4. Okay. A giant whopping one. Mm. Okay. So the rope just seems like it frays just a little bit. And he's like, don't go biting the rope now, Bessie! Come on, Bessie! Any strengths again? Sure. That's <laughs> crit 20 again. He didn't. Fake my mm. rolls so well, you know. Okay. Mm. Stop purporting to play this game. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to slash at the rope again with okay. my sword, and that's a two. Okay. The rope is halfway... F- I mean, I'm not adding my modifiers no. to that. Okay. It's halfway frayed, uh, like it could snap at any moment, and he goes, Bassy! And he lets go of the rope, and he goes to jump on your back. <sighs> Dicks out of the way. Okay. With a 13... He gets on your back. Fuck. He's now, he's got you. Feels like he's pulling on the back of your hair. And he said, like, come on, Bessie. Calm down, Bessie. All right, I'm going to start. We're going to get you back to your boy. Come on. Can I start <laughs> running? Come on, Bessie. <laughs> can I start uh, running towards a tree? You can try. Strength versus animal hand. It's a 16. You beat his animal Okay, hand. so I'm going to start running towards this tree. And okay. then put on the brakes. Okay. Right before I hit the tree. Trying to flip him off into the he tree. He stays right on there. He's Fucker. just, come on, Bessie! And then he starts doing like this whistle. I can't do it with the two-finger whistle thing. I can't. I can do that. All right, whatever. Like a... Yeah. Something like that. And then you can hear like galloping noises. All right, no, I'm going to I'm gonna start going towards the pen that he wants me to go into. So now you're going towards the camels. Yep. Okay. There's no pen. Mm-mm. It's just a herd of camels. Okay. Okay. So... As you start to make your way that way, you notice that there are dwarves riding Nobu, Billy Bays, and Sachi. Same as you. Oh, hey, brother. But when they talk, it just makes camel noises. (laughs) 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 But they look like themselves. (laughs) They look like themselves? Well, it's a camel body with their head. I don't like that. So, yeah. He's like, I don't know what got into this. Here, Bessie, you go crazy. Can I, like, do a... Must be because she's in heat. Oh, Jesus. No, I am not. <laughs> Can I do, like, a wisdom or an intelligence check to get my, my mental bearings? Sure. 18. Apparently you're a camel. Well, I know I'm a camel. <laughs> uh, apparently your friends are camels, but they don't seem to know that they're camels. Well, they think they're actual camels. They don't seem to know that... I feel like I, I've been you. sucked into a mind illusion. Maybe. Like, like I got a brain slug on me. And he's making me feel these dastardly feelings. Possibly. You don't know? All right. It feels real. No. I hate this. I mean, you feel the breeze as you're just riding through the countryside with a dwarf on your back. Oh, I've seen The Matrix. I know how that works. Okay. People just spit them, breathe on you as you're plugged in. I haven't seen The Matrix. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think any of that happens. Okay. All right, I'm going to... I'll go with the rest of the herd. Okay. And wait to see what Okay. So he takes, you, he takes you back to the, uh, to the rest of the herd, and there seems to be a foreman of sorts who walks over, and he's very unhappy. He's like, Well, what happened with that old bestie? He's like, well, I don't know. She just got kind of crazy. We brought her back for the breeding. No. That was Bessie. I'm going to trample you to death. Nobody wants a three-legged camel. We're going to chop her head off and turn her into camel stew. You're going to get all three of these fucking hooves up your ass, sir. He spits at you. I can spit back. I spit back. (laughs) You do. I ain't no dummy. (laughs) Do a con check. Uh, Can I use the roll I just did? No. It's after you spit. You didn't take my spit roll. Well, what's your spit roll? Even better. Got it. Nailed it. 22. Okay. Yeah. So you just spit on no, him. No, 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 no. That was my con check. Uh, no, I know. Okay. Nothing feels different to you. 
But just saying. So you spit at him. My spit roll was a 16. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you spit on him. In the face. Then what was the con roll for? Because you spit. You did a bad thing. No. You're not pure of heart now that you spit on me. (laughs) No. (laughs) I get real close to that foreman. Okay. (laughs) Real close. Okay. (laughs) He slaps you right in the... He's going to have to make a... a... What's what's the AC? A crit 20. Fuck! (laughs) He's What's like AC of Arnold camel Schwarzenegger man? punching the horse in Conan. <laughs> <laughs> Except you're a camel with Except three legs. You're a camel. He, you take three damages. He just socks you in the face. Yeah, stupid three-legged camel. <laughs> you gonna make good soup? Yeah, now right at you. Oh yeah, brother. He's such a good camel. <laughs> so glad we got Nobu Sachi and Billy. Billy, they're the good camels. You're a bad camel. <laughs> he slaps you in the face again. I dex out of the way of that one. Okay. With a 14. No, you don't. But he missed. So he basically just dex and he misses anyways. Okay. Is, like, do I still got that man on my back? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you get off me, sir? You say as you buck him off? I buck him off? Uh, can I okay. do that? You can try. What do you want from me? <laughs> Strength? 16. Yeah, you, you do like a buck, you catch him off guard, and he just flies. I assume you're throwing him forwards? You're doing like a... Backwards. Oh, you want him to go backwards? Yeah. Okay. So you do like a raise up sort of thing, and he just flies off the back, and he's like, Where is he? And I sprint out of there. Is that guy's name Christopher <laughs> Reeve? <laughs> I thought he was supposed to be Superman. That or criminal, dwarf's name. Not Professor X. Get me a fetus! <laughs> so you sprint out of there? Yeah. Okay. Which direction are you sprinting? Away from the mountain? Okay. Because I, I, as much as I just want... Just rolling hills. Well, in that's fine. As much as I want to kill these dwarves. Okay. And just hoof them to death. Okay. I... Nobu... Bar... Billy. Billy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Bar Billy. I don't know why I can't remember. Goddamn Bar Billy. Billy. <laughs> Billy. Bar Billy. And Sachi do athletics checks. Uh, How's it? 26. Yeah. Okay. I have no idea what to add. Yeah, we'll give you a... Natural 20. <laughs> Four. <God damn> 13. <laughs> uh, other than Sachi, they're all catching up on Thurstone. She's just running through the fields. <laughs> Thurstone had a head start, but he's quickly losing it. Uh, I got a 21 for mine. Okay. Just so you know. Yeah, but you only got three legs. Which means I got less weight. Yeah. I'm like, is that three? Yeah. So yeah, you're just running? I uh, yeah, I'm trying to run away, maybe down the mountain. You're not on top of the mountain, you're like the base of the mountain. I'm away from the mountain. Okay. You're just running into the open fields. Okay. There seems to be a pit. About a hundred yards out. How f- wide is it? Yeah, it's about ten feet wide. Okay, I'm gonna go around it. Okay. It's, it's a while before you get there. Yeah, that's fine, but when I get there. Okay. So athletics checks everyone again? Seventeen. Eight. Twelve. Sachi's a fat camel. He's just twenty-nine. Nobu is almost right he's basically head to ass with Thurstone. And camel camel speak. Does he have somebody on his back? <laughs> yes. He's trying to throw a lasso around your neck. Uh roll dex. It's a nineteen. You dex your head out of the way just as the rope. Goes by and he just misses you and he's like, I got damn messy! Quit acting up! We're just gonna chop your head off! You sound like you got a dick in your mouth, old man! <laughs> okay. Get away from me now! No, I'm gonna say you're about 50 yards. You're about halfway to the, the hole now. So, just keep it on, keep it on? Yeah, I'm gonna keep going towards it and then at the last minute try to. Okay tight turn away from it and perceive what's in the pit at the same time. Okay. Nobu, Sachi, and Billy do another athletics. That was a crit 20. 22. Seven. Seven. So you pull away so you can take a gander as you run by the hole. It's a 15? Seems to be a well of sorts, but something shiny at the bottom of the well. Ooh. I'm going in. Shiny. Okay. I'm going in. All right, so you just jump in the hole? Yep. Okay, so you jump in the hole. Um, 
the other riders kind of just circle the top because they're not sure what to do. Sure. Uh, Thurstone, do an athletics check to swim? It's a 19. Okay. So you're three arms swimming. And by three arm, I mean one arm, two <laughs> legs. Three arms, yeah. Dwarfs have arms. They don't have legs. It's just all arms. Uh, yeah, they're underground gorillas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jungle. Uh, so you are swimming. You're about halfway down the, the well, but do a con save. Oh, con save. Yeah. That would be a 24. Okay. Uh, you feel a little difficulty, but it seems like you could just keep on pressing. So one more athletics for me. Is it another crit 20? Mm-mm. That was a botch? Mm-hmm. That was a botch this time. You start breathing the water. <laughs> yeah. You just sort of don't really go anywhere. You're just kind of floating. So do another con save for me. Was it a botch? It's another one. <laughs> Goddamn, with the low rolls. Uh, so you just kind of stop remembering that you're underwater, so you're just... <coughs> you're feeling like you need to breathe soon. Yep. Athletics. I'm just going to keep going. That is a 16. So you swim to the bottom of the well, and there's like a tiny little key at the bottom. And I grab it. So when you grab it... <laughs> oh. And all of a sudden you're... What appears to be on the other side of that door that you guys opened. Nobu, Billy, and Sachi are all back to normal. Duh! You remember ah! everything. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know about all of you, but that was absolutely terrifying. Couldn't talk to... I had a dream, and you were there, and you were there. Yeah, brother, and I couldn't even outrun a three-legged camel. <laughs> <laughs> Typical mountain dwarf. I'm a fast camel. <laughs> I just like you how you are. Don't do that, Ava. <laughs> I need to spit a lot for some reason. <laughs> we got a mouthful of cum. <laughs> what? What? Hmm? I don't remember that part. So, the room that you find yourself in is another um, cobblestone type room. <laughs> it is a fairly large square shape with more of the blue light sconces. And there are two pedestals and a two levers on either side of you. God the pedestal on pedestal. your right hand side has one dog. Ooh, the pedestal on your left side has about 100 cats. And over top of both is a big giant fist. And then <clears throat> on the bottom of the floor in front of you, it just says, pick one. And then there's a lever for each one. Well, which one? Oh, we should obviously kill the cats. Yeah, duh. Uh, I'm going to have to disagree with with that statement. I don't believe my lord and savior Whiskers would enjoy that at all. And since I am truly pure of heart. Tristan, I'm tens of thousands of years old. I know a bad kitty when I see one. <laughs> I, I don't... We just met, sir. Is that a gang of bad cats? Yeah, brother. It's called a kaboo. A kaboo? <laughs> a kaboo of cats. <laughs> a carbool? Anybody got a sack? Mm, this one's hard, brother. I'm going to have to pray on this one. Okay. It almost seems like the thoughts in your head just bounce around your skull. Plunk, plunk, plunk. You seem cut off from good boy. Can I pray to whiskers? Same thing. You pray and they just cur- cur- plunk around in your brain. Hey, hey, hey. I pray to potatoes. I, I got this. Rumba. I got this one, guys. He prays to hers. Potato Ruffle. chips. <laughs> mm. I've got a negative intelligence modifier, so my thoughts aren't going to bounce anywhere. <laughs> I know what to do. We should pull both of the levers at the same time. I kind of agree. Then well, again, the life of one dog is much more important than the life of 100 cats. <laughs> it's true, brother. <laughs> there are invisible walls around the containers. Mm. Look at him. He loves us. I pull my dagger out. Okay. Can I cut through the wall? Brother, it's not gonna, what that does. You're going to so, kill no. us, brother. Stop. So it's starting to open like a dimensional door. It's I feel opening like, a dimensional door. What's yeah. on the other side? Can I see it? Stars. So imagine mm-hmm. illithids mm-hmm. are the most normal thing that's there. I un... I'm just going <laughs> to... Zip it. Yeah, I'm going to zip it right zip. back up. Okay. Nah. This yeah. one fills okay. with my play. It's like an eyeball with spider legs. Made out of cats. Made out of cats. <gasps> They're evil. And clowns. There's a lot of clowns for some reason. 
We shouldn't go there. It's a bad place. Clowns I pull the cat lever. Pissing snakes for some reason. I pull Brother. the cat lever. Okay. So is anybody? I'm gonna. I I can't let him do it. I'm gonna try to strengthen him off of that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good luck. Twenty. I think that's a seven plus <laughs> five. <laughs> no. No. Brother, I don't know if we. Should... Oh, it's too late. Okay. I mean, he did it. Nova pulls the lever. The fist comes down and smashes the cats into a paste. <laughs> <laughs> <The> fist goes. <laughs> I vomit. <laughs> and then the uh, the other pedestal lights up green. Bing, bing. And then the door opens in the back. And I go through the door. Can I get the dog? It just it sort of dissipates, <laughs> like uh, Spider Man and oh, uh, Avengers Lord. Four. Just we've chosen our deity. <laughs> Fuck you, Mister Mr. Human. Spoilers. I don't feel so good. <laughs> I yeah. got through the door. Through the door. Uh, <laughs> she's actually <laughs> the first one through the door. I'm done with these. I go through the door. Ones. There are five chairs just sitting in the room. Same type of room. All these rooms look eerily similar in terms of the. Oh, it's the cheapest way to which make one, castles. Which one's the coolest looking chair? They are equidistant around the center of the room. But what do they look like? They just look like uh, wooden chairs. One, two, but there's only four of us. Yeah. And I can't even sit in a chair. <laughs> as soon as all of you go into the room, the door closes, and then you just hear this. Oh, 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 oh. I sit down on a chair. Okay. It just keeps ticking. I sit down on another chair next to him. I hover above a chair. I sit in a chair. You have a butt. I attempt to sit on the chair. Okay. Through the I'm chair. not entirely... Corporeal. Yeah. <laughs> so you sit on the chair. Thurston, did you say you sit on the chair? Yeah. Okay. You're ether really comfortable. So when when you do that, the ticking stops and one of the chairs dissipates. And I, then I stand up. And then the ticking starts again. We're playing magical chairs. I sit down. Okay. I stand up and sit down. Okay. Same. Okay. I stay seated. The ticking stops and then the chair underneath. Play musical chairs. Nobu disappears, and the ticking starts again. <laughs> I stand and sit. I fall to the ground. <laughs> oh! My yeah. butt. Ticking. I run. I, I start walking in a circle. Okay. Around them. Okay. When the ticking stops, uh, con check. Everyone? Nope, just you. Just me. Uh, how is an eight? You're in a lot of pain no! as both of your kneecaps go the wrong direction. Oh! <laughs> your legs are broken. Oh! Oh! Hi! They're it's, still uh, there. That's <laughs> fine, but that's kind of fitting, you know, and for uh, the actions of you killing all the cats. Stood up, stood and then up, sit down. Billy's chair disappears, and the ticking starts I again. stand up and sit down. Okay. Me too. Naboo, you just stay there, buddy. <laughs> I don't have a chair. <laughs> I, I, I sit. I pull myself onto Thurstone's lap. Okay. We're going to do this together. No, no. No, no. <laughs> this Why is don't your you go fault. T- oh, this is my fault? Why don't we you go sit, sit with the satchel? Sit again. Okay. Billy, what are you doing? Come with me, Billy. Brother. Yeah, I'll sit on Sashi's lap, brother Billy. Okay. You sit inside of it. <laughs> yeah. Semi inside it of it. It feels him. weird! It's warm in here. It's kind of cool and <clears throat> damp. And Nobu, what are you doing? Oh, you've got colon cancer. He said he was on top of <laughs> Okay, so you are sitting on top of Thurston? Yeah. Okay. So the ticking stops and Sachi's chair disappears. <laughs> tick, tick, I tick, stand tick. up and sit I, down. I tick, tick, dive for the other chair. Tick. There's only one chair. The last chair. Okay. I'm already sitting in it. We all sit on each other on the chair. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you do that. And then the ticking stops and the the chair sort of just goes into the ground and a door opens up. We Your legs are still broken. (laughs) Anyone want to help me? (laughs) I believe I I can medicine you back to I believe I can. (laughs) We got crates. Try. Does cure wounds do anything? Well, I've got got prestidigitation. You, so you can loudly yell at my broken legs. <laughs> no, that's not where pressed digitation does. It's like a that's minor thaumaturgy. Oh. oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you can. I can make candles really bright. Fix the <laughs> damage on it, and you can sort of mend the legs. Yeah. Well, I still got the. Oh, do I still have the torso of Zabub? No, it, no. it seems to not okay. have gone with you. I, I didn't know that if I came back from he wasn't pure Cantopia that. I would still have the body of yeah, Zabub. It disappeared. 
So I just start hitting him on the leg. Oh. It's all right, bud. Oh. We'll, we'll get you fixed up right away. So, oh. my brother, we no. gotta just hit that. I keep going, no. hitting him harder. Set it. <laughs> yeah, hold on. This is gonna hurt you a lot, and I'm gonna set his his one leg. Medicine. I mean, I'll. That's a 19. Yeah, you set the leg. And I heal it. I mean, you still have another broken leg. But yeah, no, we'll do that one next. I was gonna say Thurston only has the one arm to set legs. I heal so. it for 10. I'm at full health. Yeah, your leg? One broken leg. Well, two broken legs. <laughs> one of them's just gonna begin healing. 16 for the other months. one? Yeah, so you set the other leg. And oh! uh, Can I heal it? Yeah, so <sighs> so now you're kind of like a football player that's played for like 30 years. You've got real bad legs. They work just fine. And kinda. depression. <laughs> I started out with depression. You get confused where you are every so often. I, what? You just say what? hike and run into a wall. <laughs> It's very strange. See, Go log! And I throw Thurston into the wall. He doesn't. <laughs> I do. But I'm going to go through that portal. Okay. It's just a door, but okay. Whatever. I hobble through the door. Okay. <laughs> Ow! You can't move your legs or your knees, so you're just straight walking it, straight leg walking. I'm doing the elbow thing. He's but walking mo- like he talked it. Yeah. So uh, as you go into the next room, that's what we're going to call it. So thanks so much for tuning in. Check us out next time. You can follow us on. on Facebook. You can follow Instagram. us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter Spotify, YouTube, Spotify, YouTube. Your SoundCloud, Megan's Soundgarden, uh, Savage Garden, uh, Black the Goo Goo Dolls, Black Sabbath, uh, The Sabbath Day, Shober Shabbos, Sober Shalom. Sabbos, uh, uh, and Wegmans. Thank you to the people who support us over at patreon.com slash Botch Podcast, like our newest patron. Yep. Justin Smith, man, thanks for upping your pledge. Thank Jay you. Smith. Thank you to the executive producers of Botch Podcast. Losers. Big Jim, Black Gary, and the Nuck. Please head on over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review, like our newest five-star review. Really wrote a fucking novel. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna work You're my gonna way through this. Once up. upon a it's time. So bad. This one is from Forbes216. Farbs. Right, off to a good start. Yep, like I said. Found this show through the members of the Cult of Curiosity mentioning it. Cult What's of that? Curious. Whatever. I don't know what that is. Cult of Curious. I don't know what that is Love either, curious. but I want to join a cult. I'm always down for cult joining. He's curious. Uh, cult having the- never played the game, I kind of have an understanding on how to play, no. but not enough to go try it out. That's fair. You shouldn't be learning from us. Uh, it seems that you just get drunk and make multiple innuendos. Mm-hmm. A multitude of innuendos. Whatever. Jesus, the you cannot read. Do you want me to read this? You sh- I can read. The number of times I've had to stop what I was doing because I was laughing have been too many to count. Great storytelling, great characters, both live and in-game, and great music that you'll catch yourself humming. Da, 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 that's nope. Game of Thrones. And nope. take the dive into this binge of all show. Thanks, Parps. You got the comments wrong. It was da, da, da. Da, da, no, 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 da, you da. got it wrong. It's da, 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 da. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Thank you for Gozer for a new intro and outro music. And as always, when you've been locked in a castle for 10,000 years and you find some new buddies, scream botched. Maybe we'll hear you. See you next week, nerds. Bay's here. Billy Bay's here. Bah! Selling cocaine to the elephants. I love cocaine. Have you ever heard of cocaine? Cocaine, the hell You don't want this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't want none of this shit. Get out of here. <laughs>